How to quit and dipping tobacco. So I realized the other day that I haven't dipped tobacco in over five years. And my method to quit is something I haven't seen anywhere else. So I thought, hey, well, maybe this can help somebody. So I'm going to kind of fill you in on my experience first before we get started, just so you can know where I'm coming from. Okay, so I started dipping, you know, when I was 16, and initially I was dipping skull peach and throwing in a few dips here and there, and a few dips became, you know, three, four dips a day, Uh, three, four dips a day became, you know, so on and so forth, and I eventually graduated to chewing a can and a half a day of either skull straight long cut or Copenhagen straight long cut. And uh, yeah, so I was going through about a log, log and a half a week. And when I first started dipping, you know, it's the best thing in the world. You know, you throw in a cha when you're in your car and, you know, it makes you feel, you know, euphoric and relaxed and it tastes good. And, you know, it's like the best thing in the world. And then after you dip for so many years, you realize that it actually isn't, you know, you're actually dependent on it now you know it makes you feel tired it makes you feel controlled you know you don't really get that same uh sense of enjoyment from dipping anymore it's more about just managing your symptoms of not dipping and uh, on top of that your mouth gets really messed up and then your health just takes a dive and then you know you realize it's time to quit and you know i tried to quit i tried a bunch of different things i tried to use fake chew uh, like that jake's mint leaf And, you know, that shit just made it even worse. You know, it's like you're throwing in something. It doesn't taste like dip. It it feels like a dip, uh, but it doesn't give you the effects. It doesn't taste like dip. You know, it's just kind of more irritating than anything. You know, maybe it could help some people. I'm not trying to uh, shed light on something that's supposed to be good. But anyways, my point is I thought I might never quit. So my trick is one day, whenever you're ready to quit dipping, <clears throat> uh, on your last can, uh, have your last can. So like, you know, I have a can and what I did is I threw in my last dip of the can. It finished off my last can. And after that, I was like, I am never going to dip ever again. And once you make that decision, just stick with it. But here's the real trick. So the real trick is to pretend that you're sick with some awful version of the flu or something like that. So that's the trick because, you know, you're addicted to the nicotine. You're not addicted to the tobacco. And I think that's the point that everybody misses is they think it's, you know, trying to quit dip. And if you don't think of it like that, if you think of it more as, you know, you're sick because that's what you are. You're actually sick when you quit. It's called nicotine withdrawal. You're addicted to the nicotine, not the tobacco. So what you can use is a type of medicine called a nicotine gum, and that will kind of taper the effects of uh, nicotine withdrawal. And it really makes all the difference. It really does. So one day you decide you're going to quit, have your last dip, throw away all dip paraphernalia, and then you're going to have some really, really nasty symptoms. I mean, worse than you could possibly imagine. And all you got to do is wake up every day and tell yourself, I have some awful version of the flu. And then on top of that, use nicotine gum. Use the highest dosage you possibly can, you know, that says it on the box without getting sick or something like that. Uh, Follow that. Use the, the four milligram instead of the two. And that will really make all the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and um, bring a website up, and I'm going to show you kind of what the common approach to this is and why I think it doesn't really work that well. So uh, we're at Michigan you know, Cancer Center, and you know this website does mean well, which is good, but let's kind of talk about some things here. So quitting smokeless tobacco is a lot like quitting smoking, and you know that's not true at all because... There's like 10 times more nicotine in dip than there is smoking. And people that dip a lot throw in massive chaws. I'm talking like a fourth of the can and stuff like that, which is like a whole pack of cigarettes or two of nicotine. So also when you dip, you dip in your car, you dip at home, you dip uh, at school, at work, everywhere. When you dip, you dip everywhere. So it's really nothing like smoking at all. And then it has some other advice on here, which is, 
I think is just really silly. You know, it just adds more irons in the fire. It makes more stress. It makes it harder for people to quit. And uh, like, look, look at this right here. Stock up on other things to put in your mouth, like sunflower seeds, carrots, cinnamon sticks. Like, what in the world? You know, that might be good, but it's really not going to help with your problem, which is nicotine withdrawal. And then this is the one I really have a problem with is change to a brand with less nicotine and use smaller dips. Okay, so if you're throwing in uh, dips that are a quarter of the can, how in the world, like if you throw in half of that, it's just not going to be satisfying. You know, if you're using less dips, it's just going to just draw it out and just make you really irritated. You know, it's kind of like when you're jumping into some cold water, starting from the shallow end and gradually working your way until your head is submerged. You know, like that's just miserable. Like why not just jump right into the deep end and just embrace it initially? You know what I mean? And then some of this other stuff is pretty good too, like, you know, remove all your cans and stuff like that. But some of this is really silly. I mean, keep a journal and write down what time of day is it and how bad is your craving. And <clears throat> that's total nonsense. This is not reality. This is all, you know, academia bull crap. So uh, I would definitely prepare yourself for the worst, though. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you <clears throat> this website. Another thing I wanted to say is do not use, uh, you know, Chantex or something like that. Use nicotine gum. It works really well. It's very expensive, but it works really, really well. I've tried other things. They don't work. Okay, so the first symptom that you're most definitely going to have very severely is you can't sleep. And you're going to have trouble sleeping for months. I mean months. So get prepared to not sleep very well because it's going to be a challenge. You're going to go to work every day tired or school. Uh, it's going to take a while, but just prepare yourself for it. Just tell yourself you have the flu. Okay, the brain fog. Uh, you're dizzy, you can't think straight, your head hurts. Yeah, all those, more so than you can imagine. I mean, it's literally going to feel as if you can't even think straight, okay? And all you got to say is, I have the flu, I'm sick. All you got to keep telling yourself is, I'm sick, this will pass. And uh, headaches, most certainly, sore throat, uh, I didn't really have that. Uh, like stress, yeah, for sure, you're definitely going to feel a lot more stressed, a lot more. And that's why the gum really takes that edge off. It makes a big difference. Uh, if you didn't have the gum at all, I mean, you would have severe anxiety, but that's why you have the gum. So instead of having severe anxiety, you just have, you know, mild stress, but you're still going to feel very sick and not sleep and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, all this is true. Uh, hot flashes and, you know, it's a little dramatized, but you know, at the same time, it's going to be very severe, especially the sleep and brain fog part, okay? And uh, I just want to tell you, when I did quit dipping, you know, I I thought, you know, I'm always going to go back. You know, I might quit for six months and just go back. So why even bother quitting? And I'll tell you, when you've been dipping for a few years and you're dipping a can and a half a day or whatever, when you finally do quit, your life will be better, you will have more energy, you will sleep better, you will feel more alert, you know, you, just everything, everything in your life is improved, you're not controlled, you feel more relaxed and calm naturally, so when your life improves that drastically, you're never going to want to go back to dipping, I mean, when I quit, uh, I was miserable for months. I mean, I was having dreams of throwing in dips for months. And after I got through that, I was like, I was so happy. I felt so good. You know, I'm like, I'm never going to throw in a dip again. I don't even think about it anymore. And here I was someone who thought I could never, ever in a million years give up dip. My family never thought I could. And I did. And uh, you just got to do it. And if you follow my technique of Every day, just, I have the flu, I have the flu, I have the flu. Just get in that mindset that you have the flu and it's going to pass. Pretend like you're actually sick and you, that nicotine gum is your medicine. Pretend that and treat yourself like a patient because that's what you are. 
you're a withdraw patient, okay? And uh, one more thing before I close out this video, close out the video is I want to show you this website right here. So it's called killthecan.org. And uh, this has some good stuff on here. And I mean, this website, they mean all the best in the world. And uh, I think this is good, but um, smokeless alternatives. This didn't work for me. Uh, it might work for some of you, but I kind of just want to talk about this a little bit and more so get your opinion on it. You know, if you guys have ever tried this, I'm really curious to see what other people think of this stuff because uh, this stuff didn't do anything for me. Um, I've tried Jake's Mint True and Back Off. Um, this one, you know, I mean, this is pretty much uh, ground up coffee grounds. And, you know, like some of these have like uh, caffeine in them to like kind of give you a caffeine rush. But, you know, it's just kind of silly to me. I, d I don't see anything like this uh, really making a difference, to be honest. Because, you know, you throw in some Jake's Mint Chew and you are going to be miserable. I mean, miserable with withdrawals. This doesn't help with withdrawals. What's going to help better is the nicotine gum. And I don't recommend patches either. They just don't work that well. Uh, they're not very strong and they're just really inconvenient. And I just, they don't work that good. So, all right, guys. Well, that's all I got for this video. If you want, please give me a like, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, share the video with your friends if you think it might help them and uh, have a great day. Good luck.